going to believe what I've done? And now, let's cut gear up up. Yes, I have fucking cut my hair. It was fucking... It's gone. Don't worry, I'm doing stuff with that. That's rarer than saffron. That'll be on eBay. So, gear up. My man, let's crack on. Start talking, you fucking moron. Very difficult issues cannot be resolved with a bumper sticker or a placard. No one has ever said that they were. You wanker. Not that they don't have their place. Yes, bumper stickers have their place on the bumper, and placards have their place on a plaque. Hot button issues such as abortion cannot be resolved with a sign. Thank God you've said it, gear up, because I have been sick to death of all these people walking around going, right, no, the abortion issue, we can settle it quite simply. We need stickers on cars. That's the way to go forward. I have a request. What do you want? You, you know, Spandau Ballet, I can do that. You know, I'll do a really good fucking Prince kiss. Whatever side of the fence you may be on. Mm-hmm. Not yours. Whether pro-abortion... You can't really be pro-abortion. I mean, pro-abortion would suggest that it was mandatory. Probably not a bad, a bad idea. Or anti-abortion. My request is that you examine your position, that you think about your position. Okay, gear up. I'll do that because, right, up until this point, I just sort of went, hip deep sky blue, oh look, I'm pro-abortion. Thank you for fucking motivating me. That you re-examine your position. My position is like this. Why do I get the impression when you say re-examine, what you're saying is change it if you're on the opposite side to me? You may be completely solid in your thoughts on the issue. The only thing that's solid in your thoughts is the skull that surrounds it, all six inches of it. I want you to think about I want you to go and blow me, but that's not going to happen either, is it? Uh, recently, a murder took place. Did it now? Wow, in America? No. Dr. Tiller. Ah, Dr. Tiller. I, I blame him slightly. Like, basically, I think if you are a doctor and you want to you know, be an abortionist and your last name rhymes with killer and you, you are asking for fucking trouble, he might as well be, have been called Dr. Kitty Molester, Dr. Toddler Fister. Change your fucking name, mate. Change it to Dr. Christ or Dr. Lovely. Who practiced late-term abortion. It's been known that he was willing to abort that child. It's been known that he... It's been known. Do you know what else has been known? Every fucking thing. Even on its due date. You, you say it like that, like like that That was it. Like, the baby was coming out, you know, it being born. There's its head. Oh, look, give me the cleaver. <laughs> Pwned. There's another person involved in that equation, isn't there? Yes, the fucking vagina is coming out. Some of you may think that is just absolutely... Heroic. Not heroic. I mean, you know, going into a flaming building and saving an old age pensioner is heroic. Taking on a, bat uh, a battalion in a war conflict on your own single-handedly with a butter knife is heroic. Performing an abortion is not exactly heroic. Others of you cringe. I wouldn't really call going into a church and shooting him cringe. Rightly so. Yeah, cringe, go on, give him a damn good cringing. Mm. Since his death. Since his murder. Murder, gear up. Murder. Murder. I want to ask you. Really? Okay. Well, basically, a man and a woman get on top. Oh, it's a different question. Do you believe a woman has a right to her own body? Yes, completely, absolutely, without any doubt whatsoever. And what does that really mean? It means that if it's your body, you have the right to it. If it's yours, to do with as you will. When we see those bumper stickers, those signs... That Fuck off with the bumper stickers and the signs! They're irrelevant! You, it's an issue! It's not the actual bumper sticker. If I have a bumper sticker that says, all homosexuals should be killed, that's not... The, the bumper sticker isn't the issue, is it? It's the little squiggly things written on it. A woman has a right to her own body. Yeah! And so do you! You have the right to your own body, and thank Christ for that! Are we saying that she has an absolute right? <laughs> yeah! Yes, yeah, say it with me. Yes. Why do I sense that you don't? To her own body? Yes. Absolutely? Yes. That there is no case? No. Where? No. Her rights? No. Don't impede on the rights of others? No. A woman has a right to her own body. It, it, it's just fascinating that to you, isn't it? Do you want that to write to it? I bet you do, don't you, you dirty little bastard? Some will argue that. Her rights are given to her by Roe versus Wade. No, no, her rights are given to her by the fact that it's her body and someone else should not be able to walk up there and go mm, and just poke her all day or, you know, slap her in the face with a haddock. But this is a circular 
argumentation. No, it's not circular at all, Vera. In fact, I think you'll find it's pretty straightforward. Woman, woman body. Body, body of woman. Woman has rights to her body. There. You're off. Into the distance. No circular, uh, circularity required until you go around the world and come back. But her rights must come from a source outside of the law. Outside of the law? God grants you rights. He is Judge Dredd. Where does these laws come from? Where do we get our rights? They come from us, you fucking twat. And if you believe that a woman has a right to kill the living human being inside her, Whoa, 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 we didn't get on to that bit. Can you define kill the living human being inside her? I mean, you know, I assume you're going to be talking about a fucking baby that's growing there inside her, but you, you could be talking about it. Maybe you wish you was asleep at night and she's quite heavy sleeper and a midget climbed inside her. I would highly doubt that God would concede or approve of such an action. Oh, wouldn't he? Oh, didn't bless him. Hmm, shame he's not in charge of things around here then. We don't have the right to hurt other people. Yes, we fucking do. If you ask me, Europe, on a Saturday night, we've got, we've got a bit drunk and I've got a crate of poppers around, you get a bit mental and ask me to chain you to the bed, you know, and just stick, you know, stick a frozen turd into your backside and beat you with a fucking meat hook for an hour, I have the right to do that. Through the genetic structure, through the DNA. What in the name of Satan's fucking knob cheese are you banging on about in DNA? Fucking g d genome structure. Do you, know what, do you know what part of fucking science this is? I think it's fucking very similar to the same part that deals with that fucking evolution thing. Oh, you fucking are a little bit selective, aren't you? Queer up. Inside the womb has distinct DNA. So, what? Okay, look at this. This is, this is from my, my plate that I was eating. This is a bit of a sausage meat covered in breadcrumbs uh, I was eating earlier. It's part of a Scotch egg. It's a Scottish invention because the eggs aren't fucking unhealthy enough for the Scots. They wrap them in sausage meat, put them in breadcrumbs and deep fat fry them. That's got DNA on it, you know, and it's completely different from mine. And this, in a court of law, could not be murdered. From its mother. Of course he gets from her fucking mother. She's not going to get him down the fucking shop, is she? From the very point... Do I get the impression she's just making this shit up? ...of extraction of DNA. Extraction of DNA? What in the name of all that is fucking rotten inside my trousers are you wibbling on about? At least Venom Vanix wrote his fucking videos. You will identify that child as a... Individual. But of course it's a fucking individual. Well, unless it's Siamese twins. Uh, it could be it could be multiple Siamese twins. Could have seven, seven, just seven Siamese twins. That's not an individual, is it? Then no, that's a that's a good practice for a free kick on a Saturday afternoon in the park, and it's a good guarantee that the woman's going to get stitches in her forehead. But it's not a fucking. It, it, it's not. It, it's so what? It's an individual. And do we have the right to hurt other individuals? Yeah. To kill other individuals. Mm hmm. Murder is the act of taking someone else's life. Oh, thank you for that one. Let me write that one down right here on my cock. A mother takes the life of her unborn baby. Is it a bit like the when that guy, that Christian guy, took the life of George Tiller? Or did that classify as wartime? In effect, this is taking someone's life, stripping them of the ability to live, breathe, have a life of their own. I know what fucking killing people means, gear up. You don't have to clarify that. Dependent on the mother, and, the, and therefore it is a part of the mother's body. Mm-hmm. Just like the eczema on the base of my spine. That's a living thing, isn't it? And, you know, when I get E45 cream on it, are you going in there running around saying, you have no right to take away the life of that dried, crusty skin? Are oh, you bollocks? Protest round my arsehole, then we'll talk. That little living human being, that person growing... Oh yes, g g gear up! You have fucking, dis you have descriptively used enough fucking, you know, other fucking words here to anthropomorphize this blob of cells inside a woman's fucking womb, a place where you've never fucking been. Well, not it, well, apart from your own mother's. Although I get the feeling you were created by a chemical spillage outside Three Mile Island. Is distinct and different. So, cunting well, bastarding what? In a court of law. In a court of law, it's not classified as a human being, you fucking... That DNA is a genetic uh, series of 
You've just learnt this. You just skimmed over this, and I fucking you you found a copy of the New Scientist in the bin outside a train station, and you saw the DNA. Oh, look at that! Fucking hell! Took you half out of learning how to spell it. Series of switches, if you will. No, stop making shit up. Oh, sorry. It wouldn't be fun otherwise. What I'm hoping here is that through discussion, we could maybe look again at the importance, the sanctity. Of life. Sanctity. Oh, fuck it. What is sanctity? What is sanctity? Like, in the sanctity of marriage means gay people cannot have marriages. So clearly, if there's sanctity in human life, that means gay people can have abortions. It has been said that Dr. Tiller has aborted over 60,000 children. I saw Elvis Presley at a petrol station last night having sex with a raccoon. There you go. That has been said too. It said he'd been performed... Yeah? Yeah? What? Mm -hmm. yeah. Go, go on. And he also counselled incest victims, people who'd been molested and raped. He also performed abortions in the first and second trimester, which you're not fucking complaining about now. Oh, no, it's just when he fucking... When he pulls them out and they got fucking... They look like that thing in Total Recall that comes out of a bloke's chest. Oh, yeah, then you start fucking getting pissy about it. With... Fingerprints. Oh, like a koala bear. And... Toenails. Toenails! Toenails! Toenails, bit of a human characteristic, that bit like that, uh, that, that, that lemur you found last week. And fingernails. And eyes and brains. It's just like my hamster. But my question is... Okay, right, again, when... no, sorry, different. Does a woman have the right... Yes! Murder. Yes! The unborn child... Yes! Who is distinct... Affirmative! from her right on and science can verify you betcha this distinction ooh baby through DNA get in there markers back of the net through the DNA fingerprint in off the red does that woman yes have the right yes to take the life of this person yes. I think no you don't and there is nothing more important for us as individuals, but to care for those who are less fortunate. What, like the people who Venom Fang X was ripping off? Who don't have a voice. Like the people Venom Fang X was ripping off. We're called to shore up the young, the weak. Uh, what's it called again? Sick Kids Hospital. Yeah. And what could be more important than our own offspring? Our own kind, our children, and to let this great evil continue, I'm 100%, let the evil flow, is, is a travesty and a crime against humanity. Yeah, but what are you going to do? Hmm? Fuck your sister. And if she gets pregnant, don't you fucking dare sit there with that sanctity of life bullshit. Just get the coat hanger, straighten it out, and pfft, right in there. Kick her down the stairs into a bath full of boiling gin, and spare us any more of this fucking DNA, because you living on is a fucking fate worse than human existence being wiped out entirely. Richard Lee Coffin, 666. Good night, mate. God be less. <laughs>